This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Chase from Barrel Age Flicks. Go ahead and check out our Patreon for raw, uncut footage and early access to all of our episodes. The link is in the description, and it's only $5 a month. Thanks for listening. Guys, right out the gate. Welcome to the tasting room. Welcome to the tasting room. Hey, everybody. What is Featuring up? Featuring more your movie reviews as our guest for our show today. Yeah, woo How, How are you going? Doing? How's it going, Chris? Hello, we're doing great. We're doing awesome. Good to have you on the show. Thank you so much to Barrel Aged Flicks and Chicks for having us. Yeah, man. Uh, for this uh, sci fi episode. Yeah, this is going to be excited fucking great. To be here. Yeah. Thank I hate you this. so much for uh, taking the time. I hate this so much. You oh, guys gosh, want me what? to really file the sci fi genre down to five. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Chase already- the actual the genes did it. You can man up and do it. Okay. No. Just no. pick five. No. <laughs> so, uh, Chase That's already right. brought it up. We're doing so our I top five. Oh, <laughs> As you yeah, see, it's a crazy show. Now. Top five yeah. sci-fi movies. So actually, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and plug your show? Sure. We're Chris and Elle from uh, Spoil My Movie. And uh, we watch movies and movie trailers. And we provide our own unique spin on it. Uh, Elle has a background in uh, psychology and audiology. And uh, I have a background in tech and creative writing. So I approach it from the story side. And uh, we've also got some pretty enjoyable personalities, I think. I think so. I listen and y'all are oh, fucking podcast. adorable. I, I love that you guys are giving your intro and Crystal's over here like, holy shit, they sound awesome. No, <laughs> following them. No, I love, I love when people are like, oh yeah, no, watch this movie. This, 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 and this happens. I'm like, yes, tell me everything. <laughs> yeah. What was, weird, what was the brother oh, outside like, when they were writing the script? She, no, I need to know. No, she's fucking weird. Like, uh, you're no, like, hey, awesome. uh, hey, do you want, yes, I know she's awesome. That's why I'm with her. Duh. Anyway, um, no, it's like you'll you'll give her this uh, trailer and she's like, I don't know. I just don't know enough about the movie. OK, well, fine. I'll watch it and I'll tell you all the spoilers. She goes, yeah, please just tell me the spoilers and then I might be interested. Well, I mean, no, that's, that's smart. That's just vetting. That's like honestly vetting her shit. Yeah, be like, is it worth happens? my time? By Which, the way, by the way I, go ahead. oh, by the way, just so I, I want to say that the last episode you did on the TV shows, I really enjoyed yeah, that. Really I thought that you guys, yeah, you guys went through a lot. They, Breaking Bad was one of theirs. Great show. I've been uh, freaking that pumping like that for one. decades. All right, God damn. Yeah, but now you have a microphone. So there you go. <laughs> and people who actually want to listen to you. Hey. <laughs> T minus seven days till cocaine bear. That's all I gotta say. Dude, I'm T-minus so seven days. excited about cocaine meth bear. head yogi. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, so God. excited. Are you guys gonna go see cocaine bear? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like snakes on a plane. I was sold from the title. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's based on true facts. That's it is. What told me. Yeah. It, it is. is. Yeah. It is. There was of a, course the there real was a bear that ate like tons of cocaine that if found in the duffel bag that fell out of the air. They uh, yeah. when they found the bear, he had seventy five pounds worth of cocaine stuffing his stomach to the brink of explosion almost. Oh man! Uh, yes. they, I'm assuming they found it in a necropsy. Yes. Aww. He's stuffed in a mall in Tennessee right now. <laughs> Is he really? Yes. Is As, it terrible? I want to make that road trip. <laughs> As Chase likes to say, that bear was the apex predator of the planet for about 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it totally was. <laughs> 100%. I mean, unless you can basically shoot up a shark with heroin, yes. And then I still, it has the land advantage. I mean, I'm waiting for the sequel, Meth Rhino. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and start our ranking. And uh, we're going to actually start with uh, spoiler movie reviews. Uh, L or Chris, whichever want to go first. Your top five sci fi movies. So I'm really curious what your list is. Hippo. I'll be a gentleman and let Chris go mean. first. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. I can't I'm wait to have her on our show. Critical. It's going to be great. <laughs> All right. So, number five, I have to go with Galaxy Quest. Oh! 
Oh, it might yes! be fuck yeah. Yeah, it might yep. be kind of unexpected on a sci-fi list, but it's there because it is a tremendously wonderful homage to Star Trek. Yes, uh, yes. specifically it's the original series. Just pure fun. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. That's probably one of the really best is. sci-fi comedies out there. That's, it is, I think. Right? Yeah. I think it's top, yeah. honestly. Yeah. It made my list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It goes in the same vein as it's Orville, right which I believe you brought I up on your show about the Dude, Orville. Orville is so oh, fucking it? good. I hope they come yeah. back for a fourth season. I really I'm, do. I'm yeah. praying. And I'm like an homage type mockery. Like, yeah. yeah, but Orville turned out mine. to be like, I think on par or better than Star Trek in yeah. a lot of ways. It's no, I agree. In my no. opinion, yeah. Orville is yeah, she's on my humans side. nowadays with the technology of like yeah. next gen star trek right. is still better star we're not, still better. We're not all funny. gentlemanly sirs no. calm down your, calm your shit we're still pieces of shit but In we space. have space exactly that's all <laughs> i mean i like i like the orville, it's orville, but, because I, orville, it's by me orville right. has more of my humor Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah and yeah then, well i mean when you have something from um oh crap his brain his name went around my brain I have no idea. No, the guy that wrote it. Seth um, Parlin. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be funny. What's your number two? Um, what were you trying to say? Yeah, well, that was, okay. That, well, that was five. I'm going back. Oh, oh, you're going backwards. Sorry. Number, you're number four. He back. doesn't know how to count. It's fine. <laughs> uh, number four, I have Predator <laughs> 2. And I choose Predator 2 because Chase is gonna hate you. I love the urban setting. I, I appreciate and I love and enjoy the original. But Who's I have that? to give the edge to Predator Two, and I realize that's an unpopular opinion, but that's mine. That I, is a very a good unpopular film. opinion. It's a good it's film. Fun. I like it. It's a fun film. <laughs> it's, it's a popcorn so flick. Bad. No, it's not. It's not that bad, you child. Thought, Chase here thought Alien vs. Predator was the best out of it all this year. Which is why we have to oh, bitch slam oh, him on a regular wrong. basis. Exactly. <laughs> I'm right there with him. Predator sucks. Hey, I'm not. I'm not. What? Oh, oh you whoa, know okay. this. I told you Predator 1 was oh, horrible. She's got a mic and two drinks in her. Go, Chris. You went down go. on my book. I, just, oh, I also said I would kill Darth Vader, and you looked at me like I was like... <laughs> She did. Uh, you did. You looked at her. You looked at her like she broke your childhood. It was amazing. I mean, <laughs> it's just taking out part of the drama club. That's all. What's your number three? <laughs> number three is, and you guys will like it. The thing. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Amazing movie. Yeah, <laughs> well, after the last episode, how could I not? Uh, uh, number two, Terminator Two. Nice. Yes. I think Solid fucking choice. Noise. We just watched it not that long ago, and it still holds up. I think the only thing that doesn't hold up is Arnold doing the roll off the tanker truck. Yeah. The uh, mm-hmm. the effect on that is kind of like, all right, that's glorified stop motion. But other than that, it holds up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Terminator 2 is good. See, I always liked the original better, but Terminator 2 is still one of the best sequels of all time. But the first one is just a great storyline. I love the first one, and it, I enjoyed that one so much more. And then the sequels just got worse and worse. I I, I don't mind Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. No, I didn't like I, that one. I, I'm sorry, I that actually, was involuntary. That was, was that was visceral. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> I, I didn't hate Genesis, and that might be a very unpopular opinion. That's the new it's one that came, right? I love the characters very much, but I didn't appreciate the timeline, the fuckery. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I agree with that. And then, top of my list, this is not only my top sci-fi film, this is my number one film of all time, and that's E.T. And I want to specify, right. it's not that re-release bullshit where E.T. is fucking animated because that <laughs> shit pisses me off. Yeah. And I turned it off in the middle and I threw away the DVD. Um, <laughs> I love it. That's no, fantastic. No. That is childhood right there. E.T. Yeah. Yeah. is a classic movie. Yeah, dude. Grew up with that movie. I know so many people that hate that movie. I Man, don't know why. I Snow, love it. Snow fucking loathes that movie. But no, I, I agree with you on E.T. That's a great oh, pick right she doesn't, there. She doesn't like E.T. Fre- E.T. freaks Snow the fuck out. She does not like it. But she loves Mac and Me. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. likes Mac and yeah. Me because the creatures better than E.T. Ador- because the creature's cute. Up E.T. Yeah, because the creature's adorable. And that in itself says so much about Snow. Yeah, it like, looks like she's the, so fucking funny. I love her. It, fucking alien that looks like it's about to suck dick or something like that because the of the fuck? fucking mouth. I'm serious. <laughs> My don't man. make emotion. It doesn't help. Corman. My man's been on <laughs> R34 way too much. Holy That's shit. Why name is Captain Cumbier. <laughs> Not anymore, apparently. He's a hero. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Paul Rudd tends to torment Conan O'Brien mm-hmm. every single time he guests stars the, with so Mac many and times. me. So <laughs> many the kid times going, over the, uh, going over the cliff in the, uh, so in the wheelchair, right? 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's a great fucking list, Chris. Great list. Nicely done, sir. I, I, would, I never would yeah, have thought of ET cool. being on the list. That's good. That's pretty solid. I didn't think of that either. All right, Elle, what's yours? <laughs> All right, I'm going to be boring and go from the top. My number one of all time is Terminator 2. Okay. Um, I also agree that, yes, I love the first film. What I love about the first two films is that they're both creepy. And that's, I think, the element that is missing out of all the other films. Yes. Um, I also just, for me, what makes Terminator 2 really special is Sarah Connor. You know, I wanted to be her you know, growing up and like, she basically was like my tomboy dreams, you know, <laughs> manifesting. And I, and for me, she was kind of like a role model. So I love yeah. it. I still, I agree with Chris. It holds up till today. Yeah. Um, um my second is aliens. Yes. Uh, I actually watched it today and prep for this show. And I was like, God damn, this movie is just so good. <laughs> the effects still hold up like the, the art around like the, the spacecraft and, and everything is just so gooey and disgusting and mm-hmm. amazing looking till today. Yep. Those alien designs are unparalleled to anything else. They're Gagger. just so, yes, they're just so incredibly creepy. And I mean, if I were to see something like that in real life, I would shit myself. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and what I really love about that movie is how badass Sigourney Weaver is. Get yes. away from her, you bitch. That's and, um, the fucking line. And Vas- <laughs> Vasquez, too. I love me some Vasquez. She's yeah, Vasquez yeah. Is pretty badass. Vasquez was fucking was, awesome. She was fucking boss. She's tiny with that big fucking gun. I was like, yes. Hey, Vasquez, anybody yeah. ever confuse you for a man? I don't know if they Damn. confused you. <laughs> I love it. No, but like what I love is that in the growing up in the 80s, there weren't a ton of women that we could really look up to. And these like Sarah Connor and Sigourney Weaver, mm-hmm. you know, like in these two yeah. in the roles were just so badass yeah, that they it were. really was inspiring. Yes. Right on. Yes. So my third movie is predator one nice because because <laughs> i love arnold schwarzenegger to death i wish he would adopt me and if you guys can help me spread the word to like, <laughs> maybe one day he'll, 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 you know, he'll hear about my little podcast and and take me in under his wing but no i love him i i think it is a little sometimes uh slow going in the beginning because they're um you know setting up a lot of stuff in this jungle and everything but it is such a good hunting movie like to me it's, it's like it's, it's like a half it's two halves it's like the first half is all action uh basically yeah. just like you know uh uh, guerrilla warfare and stuff like that and then the second one is yes. battle like an alien so. completely agree and once the alien part steps in it's just such good sci-fi going oh it's on there. amazing effects maybe don't hold up today but that that whole chase between the two oh. of them is amazing best sci-fi so the- action movie of all time i love it it's absolutely awesome my fourth movie, you may be surprised. Um, it's The Fly. Great Fuck one. Yes. Yeah. No, nice. no, no, no. I'm, I'm assuming, huge. assuming I'm you assuming mean Cronenberg's. It. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, no, David Cronenberg yeah. is one of my favorite directors. I fucking love Videodrome. Fucking because I, I do like the little him. fly going, help me in the original. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fascinating to watch him go from human to this other thing with like becoming Rangle more fly. primal and more he, oh, yeah. he did such and again, a speaking good of job gooey, like there's a yeah. lot of goo yeah. happening that's, in a, that's a there's slimy so movie much goo. Yeah, there's a lot of goo. Goo. including a lot of Ron's goo. pants <laughs> shut up but it's <laughs> he does have a chub for Cronenberg you do I think it's gratifyingly disgusting yeah, yes. uh, oh, yeah. You know, and but I really think also that the chemistry between Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum and they were dating is just outstanding. They were dating at the same time too because they actually found oh, love. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were dating, and then they also did Earth Girls Are Not Easy uh, yeah, right after your that. Your favorite? I hate that movie. <laughs> but yeah, no, they were dating. They actually fell in love. I think they were married for a couple of years. Believe it or not. Maybe. Huh? You got to do the help me because your voice goes really high. Help me. Oh. You want to do it? Which one? What the help me? From what? From the oh, fly. The from the Vincent me. Price version, the original. Oh, there she goes. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, so my last one, also probably not thought of, but it's Back to the Future. Very good. There um, you go. Very good. Some of and, this- and the more the the I mean. Part of me always wanted to see the flying cars, thought I would by now. You know, I thought I'd be, you know, riding around a hoverboard by now. So there's like a lot of stuff to, you know, sort of um, 
reach in our society when it comes to that movie. There's a lot of things, you know, to sort of um, try to try to, you know, move f- towards too. But like also what I really loved um, is that it's just fun. And then like there are a lot of movies that are great, but they're so serious. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of like characters now, let's say like with superhero movies and everything. Everybody seems so burdened all the time, yeah. like, you know, with their powers, with their abilities, with what's going on. And I feel like Marty's like, whoa, this is cool. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. And so it's just like a fun time. And the music's really good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, Alan Silvestri's score is amazing on those three movies. Absolutely. So those are my top five other movies that were in consideration were The Fifth Element, uh, The Matrix and Total Recall. Nice. Yep. So the Total I mean, Recall is a cla- the original, not yeah. the Colin Farrell piece of crap. Yeah. 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 And I know with you being an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, I know you got to love that movie. But also, I remember we were talking yeah. about a movie uh, last night, The Running Man. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, that's one of Ooh, Stu's favorites that- right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, the running like man. I, I, I mean, my my list man. was very it close so to being up. all Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, but I was just like, no, nah, clam down. <laughs> you got a great list right there. No, I, I love your list. The fact about the uh, David Cronenberg The Fly, I, I oh, man, there, see, that's the thing about this genre. The sci fi is so fucking hard to do because I I think I have like twenty to thirty movies, and I have to pick five out of those thirty movies, like. God, this sucks. Yeah. I almost wanted to do a top 10, but we got to stick to our rules and go to top five. He was very angry about this list. Oh, I I was too. He was (laughs) so mad. No, because he's like, I'm I'm like, I know you're a sci-fi freak. I get it. Like he was like, and I was like, don't yell at me. (laughs) Pick five movies. (laughs) All right. So I guess I will go next. Al and Chris, those are a great fucking list That was amazing. Nicely done. Golf claps. Thank you. All right, so my number one is going to be Aliens, so I'm going to agree with you on that one. Aliens is by far one of my number one movies of all time. I think the the fucking the colors uh, from uh, uh, Hadley's Hope and just the the aliens, the all the characters, which James Cameron is really good at writing characters. I enjoyed mm-hmm. every part of that. Bishop is one of the greatest characters. Bill Paxton, <laughs> Hicks, all of them. I mean, our artwork. I'm dressed up like Hicks because he's that, that's like my fucking favorite. We've movie. named our dog. Bishop yeah, Hudson. Our name is named Bishop yes. Hudson. <laughs> we, were, we were thrilled to hear that. That's amazing. So my number two is going to be Blade Runner. I am a huge, oh, huge fan of Blade Runner. It's one of my ultimate favorites. That is the greatest sci-fi to me. It came out the exact same time as The Thing. And trust me, I wanted The Thing on my list too. But like I said, I can't do all of them. So Blade Runner, right. I'd have to put it in there. Harrison Ford was great in it. Um uh, Rudger Haar, it was just amazing in that movie. And that fucking last part, that dialogue at the end, Tears in the Rain, gets me every single time. I fucking love that movie. How, how do you pronounce that? Rutger Haar. Rutger Haar. There we go. All right. Uh, I said it wrong. Closer. Attaboy. Hey, but I, I fixed it. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be where it's going to get a little hard here. Um, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I'm a yeah. huge Star Trek fan. And when it comes to Kirk, he's always been my favorite captain. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, it was just great. I mean, the fucking famous line. I I love everything about it. I love the whole trilogy, although Voyage Home was weak, but Search for Spock and Wrath of Khan are probably the best out of the trilogy. But uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed Star Trek II. You guys Star Trek fans? Yeah. Yeah. Are you? So I'm just curious. Original crew or uh, Next Generation? TNG. Mm. Next, yeah, next generation for me. There you go, Stu. Next generation. I love the movies. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I mean, Picard. I love, love, love those movies. But there's something I, I think I just grew up, you know, having that more in my daily life. Yeah. You know, those episodes, and so I, I love the sort of the, the philosophical stuff that comes up. You know. Picard is my captain. I love the yes. Borg. Next gen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a Kirk fan, no matter what. I, I no school so like the excited old for school. season three. Oh, for uh, season three of Picard? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because all the OGs are coming I don't back. have Paramount yet. Oh. <laughs> all right. So this is uh, this is where it's going to get interesting. Uh, Interstellar is going to be my number fourth. Um, oh, yeah, nice. I, to me, that movie comes close. Nowhere near, but it comes near to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, the way it was filmed, uh, the visuals in it and everything else, the whole time thing with Matthew McConaughey. I enjoyed the hell out of that movie. It's a visually, it's eye candy to me. It's a it beautiful really sci-fi is. movie, and Hathaway did a great job. I mean, just the whole story. I the music from Hans Zimmer was fucking beautiful. The uh, Hans the, the, Zimmer always has good stuff. Yeah, he never goes yeah, wrong. Definitely. 
But I, I had That's to pick that one because Christopher Nolan is a great director. Inception is another one that would have been on my list. But like I said, it's hard. You, you, you can't put them all on there. So, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick Interstellar. Now, my last one, God, this was hard to do. Um, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm just doing an honorable mention of just one. If you guys want to do an honorable mention. Oh, me- he's going to bitch slap you. Elle got to do it. That's because she's a she's guest. She's a guest. Damn. We have our he fucking roles. He can't physically roles. hit her we you're here. We have our fucking roles. All right. <laughs> what, what is he going to do? Slam the laptop? Damn it. All right. You're gone. Angrily <laughs> close. All right. How um, dare you? Elle, you're punished. <laughs> all right. I, this is what I'm going to do. We I, still hear her. I, I had one, but I know that Stu has the same one, so I'm not going to say it. I'm going to leave it to Stu. So I'm going to pick another one, which is another classic film, the one that I grew up with that I really care about, the original Planet of the Apes. I love that movie mm-hmm. with Charlton oh. Heston. I, I've always been a fan yeah. of that. I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm picking that one. Good job. But, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I Planet of the Apes. is. A, you guys are a fan of the Planet of the Apes series? I like it. I do like it. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'm – I wouldn't put it on my list, but mm-hmm. I recognize how – influential it was yeah um at the especially at the time and it's had the longevity as well Mm -hmm. it's a respectable a respectable film i think the first one's respectable the second one's good the third one's all right and then they just get kind of low and then the reboot Mm -hmm. with tim burton and everything else but i I will always go for the original but i think the the andy circus ones are really good the most recent installment yeah they are they're really good Mm -hmm. But uh, that is my list for my top five so we're gonna go ahead and hand it over to sammy on her list my turn okay hello Uh All right, so uh, two of mine have already been said, so I'll go ahead and knock those out. Uh, Galaxy Quest. Fuck yeah. Love love Galaxy Quest. It's like I can literally put that one on and then just rewatch it and rewatch it. And every single time that I see freaking, oh, what is his name? Tony Shalhoub. No, no, no. Um, Alan Rickman. No, not Alan Rickman. No, no, no. Tim Allen? Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell oh, having yeah. the breakdown about, wow. I don't have a last name. <laughs> 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 he knows he's red shirt guy. He knows he's going to die. It's just so brilliant because, you know, now there've been comedians that have done skits about red shirt guy and everything. And it's always been this, like this trope, but he gave it so much just genuine personality and terror that to me, mm-hmm. it defined it. Like it really did. Now I cannot see red shirt guy without thinking of that character. Yeah. Um, Agreed. So that's Galaxy Quest. Then for me, Back to the Future. Again, yeah, love Back to the High five. five. Yes, high five. Yes, <laughs> um, loved it. It's my childhood when they would have it on the loop with all three of them. I would just sit for twenty four hours, just rotting away in front of the TV screen because that's what we did. You know, late, you know, early nineties. That's what we did. Um, Latchkey kids. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Um, loved, loved to this day, still love Christopher Lloyd, you know, Michael J. Fox. And again, it was mm-hmm. this 27 or 2015 was disappointing because we didn't have hoverboards and we didn't have flying cars. Nope. 2021. Um, no, now it was I would just kiss my ass nope. if there was a hoverboard. Was yes. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I felt like that, that thing passed by so quick. No, it was 2015, not 2021. Sorry. <laughs> you said you said that you no, wish you, you had a hoverboard? Yeah. Don't you? Now, if we had them, I'm too old. Like, I'd bust my ass and break a bone. Yeah. <laughs> they have pads for that. Just, like, wrap yourself in bubble wrap. <laughs> Realistically, though, people still can't drive regular cars. Do we want them in the air? All right? Well, Do we I mean, want these falling out no. of the sky well, and crashing I mean, into buildings? Then wouldn't there be, like, automatically Listen. an autopilot? I mean, we have Teslas that technically That already run into shit on well, autopilot? Not so than people, <laughs> according to the numbers. I think it's all Skynet. It's totally going to happen. Skynet's yeah. gonna happen. Terminator's gonna happen. This is just the entryway. That thing listens That's to That's my concern with Ragnar shit talking Alexa all the time. No, she's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I, she only responds to Ron. That specific one. She's the slutty Alexa. That's why she's down here. She responds yeah, only to Ron. Too. I unplugged that bitch. Good. I don't like her. She's an uppity bitch. Anyways, all right. So <laughs> back to the future. <laughs> I know. When I'm upstairs, he's out here gaming. Talk to me, Alexa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you should leave your wife, Ron. We can run away. You like 2001 Space Odyssey. Is that why? I mean, they had yes. Hal the psychotic robot. Is Alexa going to be that? Is she going to icebox me? <laughs> Don't turn me off. Don't give her the opportunity. I know. Unplug her. All right. So okay. back to the Alexa. future. <laughs> amazing, amazing uh, franchise of films. Love them. Um, then I am going to go with another trilogy, The Matrix. Love, nice. love the matrix um loved just 
everything and the animatrix, everything, how rich it was. Mm-hmm. Again, it's Dude, going to happen. We're all going to become crazy. batteries. <laughs> like it's 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 a thing. Um, and so yeah, like the Matrix is amazing. I mean, I can't even just it's blew blew so many people's minds. It's it's actually I think a film of a generation. Because let's face it, after we all saw it, everybody was going around in trench coats. Everybody was going around as Agent Smiths. Like, it was a whole thing. And there's... I'm still not over that stage, actually. (laughs) I was wearing the trench coat before Matrix. I know, but it just made you that much cooler (laughs) back then. (laughs) I'm going to do a fucking trench coat mafia shit, and then I got fucking (laughs) damn near suspended for some shit that I was already fucking doing for two years. Oh, you're making fun of this shit. No, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck them. This, is, I'm this is just my wardrobe, man. <laughs> I Fuck think those I look guys. Cool. Um, so, yeah. So, The Matrix. Um, then I have to go with Minority Report. Yes. Ooh, that's a good one. Yes. I. So, I have a love-hate with Tom Cruise. I didn't like him for the longest oh, time. Oh, I love to hate him. And then, no. And then Ron yeah. turned me around to certain <laughs> moments where... I was like, no, run, that could be, run, that run, could run. be, you know, recasted. And there are certain ones like him and fucking Tropic Thunder. Oh. I can't think of anybody else that could Made actually that play character. that fucking. Made that character. But like, it was amazing. And it was, so there are those moments. And Minority Report for me was another one of those just Tom Cruise gem moment, moments. Yeah, yeah. They're few. Yeah. Um, but again. There is a story Bill Hader was doing. They were doing some promotion for the MTV Movie Awards that year that came out. Uh-huh. Um, so Bill Hader was like himself from that uh, film. And then Tom Cruise was still dressed up like Les Grossman, you know, okay. for those shoots. <laughs> and at the time, um, Bill Hader's wife just had a child. Uh, and they were in New York City. He was in L.A. And this was like uh, the time when they found the, the, the attempted car bombing in Times Square. Uh-huh. And he was freaking the fuck out. Um, and he told the story to Tom Cruise, you know, he's like, man, he's I'm freaking out. I want to get home to see my wife, but I'm still, I'm not scheduled to leave for another two days and shit like that. So apparently in full less Grossman gear, Tom Cruise is like, no, we're going to, we're going to handle this shit. He started getting on his phone, making all these demands and shit like that in full less Grossman gear and get, in order to get a private plane to fly Bill Hader home to make sure that his wife was Aww. okay. That's but I'm awesome. just imagining Tom Cruise as Les Grossman just losing his shit. Just on just randomly. Like, That's being, cool in the middle, shit, yeah. being in the middle of like Walmart, like this is not organic and like throwing down fruit or something. <laughs> Alan, Chris, are you, are you fans of Tom Cruise? I fucking hate Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. Did you call him wait, wait, wait. stupid middle tooth? Did you he hear that? That was the opening of Jan of Worms. <laughs> what was that, though? Yo, Did you just spit my, your beer? He makes me ghetto. Like, I will fucking boss his face open. I hate him so oh, much. But you can't catch him. And He'll run away. The only movie that I can stomach him in and that I'm, that is allowed to play in my house is Vanilla Sky. That's Ooh, a great that's movie. Oh, that's a good one. And I'll give you that. Interview with a vampire? That's good. No. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Damn. I love a few good men. Oh, yeah. Good, good fucking movie. Rob Reiner. What, uh, yeah. what about The Firm? The, the Firm, firm is good, good, too. Yeah. No, Co- no, come on, how about that, Cocktail? Really? Fuck one Cocktail, it's a reason? shit movie. <laughs> Stop trying to reasons? make it good. Cocktail is a good movie. It is a it's terrible derivative, movie. derivative, but it's no. still good. No, the only good part kills himself. That's that the only good part of that movie. And that made me sad. The rest of it is just fucking Tom Cruise flipping bottles. Mm-hmm. No fucking thing. <laughs> well, look, you got you, you got a counterpart here. She hates Tom Cruise. Well, no, you like. No, I said there are moments. I would set him on fire with gasoline and kerosene. Damn. Woo! Double bird. You literally said last not, night. Toasty. Toasty. As a yeah. legal, <laughs> as, as a legal honestly, statement, think, none I of this is, con- to, is to be considered a call to action well, or personal oh, views. Hold on, Ellen, <laughs> what were you saying? No way does this podcast reflect any violence. I think that one of the reasons I love Vanilla Sky is because he gets his face smashed. He's all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. that's what I was saying. I was like, I he's mean, all deformed. Yeah. It's like Quasimodo. So my, again, my dude got fucked up. Fucked up. Y'all suck. All right. So what's your last one? And then. And we're going to round it out depending on your pronunciation because I've heard it both ways ex machina or ex machina ex machina yeah I've heard it rips, I think that's the German no it's Latin is it Latin Latin I don't yeah. know it's not English like or American or whatever yeah, um, so I've heard it this, ex machina. yeah I've heard I've heard it both yeah. ways but that movie 
was amazing. Oh, it's fucking phenomenal. It yeah, was a good amazing. Film. Very strong. Um, yeah, I very loved strong. it. I don't remember the female actress, um, but she was amazing. I know it has Oscar Isaac in it because yeah. I have a weird thing for him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do. You do. <laughs> I mean, he's you know he's Latino. What do you want? It's 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 there. <laughs> it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> don't make it weird. All, All right. right, that's a great list, Sammy. Thank you. I'm gonna pass it over here yeah. to. Hello. Hello. Hi, you. Hi, I am the resident small. <laughs> hey there, Georgie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Georgie. Okay, so <laughs> no particular order, just, you know, five that I really love, and two of them I got help from my mom and my brother because she introduced me to my category of shitty sci fi movies, not just sci fi. District 9. District Nine. Oh, that's a great movie. It's a good movie. Depending on who you ask, it was shitty. I absolutely love it. And I'm excited no, 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 for no, District no. Ten. No, I I just good. am mad. Because They're making the number two. District Ten's coming yeah. out soon. The thing I'm upset about District Nine is the director was actually going to be signed up to uh to direct the official sequel to Aliens to knock out Alien Three and Alien Resurrection out, and that got completely canceled out. But no, <laughs> District Nine. That's a good movie. I love District Nine. Next is my first one that I saw with my mom, Piranaconda. <laughs> really? Yes! It was great! The fucking fish-snake hybrid coming over, swiggling through the field, and all of a sudden, boom, is getting eaten somebody. Oh, it was shitty, and hey, I loved it. Shitty sci-fi movies hold a special place in our hearts, okay? Oh, bro, it gets worse from here. Oh, Up wow. next, we have Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark. Yes! Oh, God! Yes. Shitty sci-fi, bro. I could watch these for hours with my family. This is a, the, sci-fi about, channel like, movies. Like sci-fi only? Like yes, sci-fi was, channel release? Yes. There's yeah. sci-fi yeah. 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 That's what the fuck I'm, I'm talking about, yeah. man. That 11 a.m. time <laughs> slot for Saturday morning on sci-fi channel? Oh, yeah, fuck where you yeah. pay 50 cents per, per minute of acting because it's that quality of acting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, no, my arm. Who do we want as a villain? Uh, the Iron Chef. Yeah, then um, <laughs> then we have Sharknado. I think I just nice. broke, too. Because my mother and I watched that together, and my personal favorite is the last one because it fucking ended. Wow, your list is so <laughs> unique. They're always unique. Your list is always you. Every list that Crystal does is different. She thinks her shit out. Jesus. And then my She's last one. It. Oh, yeah, no, I think hard. <laughs> and then my last one is my brother and I's personal favorite to watch together is Sharktopus. Sharktopus! Okay. <laughs> There's a space in our hearts for really bad movies. There are. Yeah, there there are. <laughs> yep. They're yeah, just when you movies are awesome. When you grow up watching shit like that, it just speaks to your heart. <laughs> Ron just doesn't realize that those shitty movies normally have Tom Cruise in them. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. He Big kiss. He flew the jet. He went into space. Did you know this? Yes, you have told me fifty fucking times before we went and saw Maverick. See, I, I, love, I love Tom time Cruise. Travel. He time traveled and, and, and to tomorrow <laughs> uh, multiple. T- that's what he actually did. He became another human. <laughs> yes. All right, well, that Crystal, that's a great fucking list. Very unique, like always. Well, thank you very much. Stu, we'll go to your top five. I don't know how I'm going to, you know, follow that list. I was hoping <laughs> I, really I was don't. last because I'm like, yay, I'll round it up, little shit. Okay, um, so I'll start five and move my way up. Uh, number five, 1971, Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Um, yes. Yeah, I oh, I, I love the, the black comedy elements of it, um, the dystopian <laughs> feel that that just seems right uh to the whole thing and just kubrick as a whole just a a masterful director beautiful visually stunning uh films that he puts out it's so fucking tragic that he passed (laughs) away and he he couldn't make another movie because he had so many other movies under him that he never got to do i've just finally finished my list good okay sorry she was giving me a weird look (laughs) (laughs) well he put his phone down like he had just seen something horrid and i'm like what the fuck is happening because he's trying not to go back into it to change it again yeah (laughs) Uh, my number four would be 1979, Ridley Scott's Alien, the the OG. Yeah. Um, to yeah, me, yeah, this yeah. is showing uh, how fucked up, you know, actual space travel can be, and the shit we don't know will fuck you up. Uh, I loved it. I thought it it, it told uh, the story amazingly. The acting 
was really strong for the characters they were playing. Um, nice dark feel to it. Uh, that that yes. was the very first movie to ever scare me when I was yeah. younger. That that was the movie that actually, and it wasn't even the Alien. It was just the atmosphere, the, the freaking, exactly. the hallways of the Nostromo. It was just, I, as much as I love Aliens, and yeah. I love Aliens, no, yeah, yeah. I do. But they're two totally different genres of of sci fi, uh, and I, I just horror appreciate action it. exactly. Yeah, I, I I appreciate. <laughs> the the darker elements of the OG alien. Yeah. yeah. Uh my next one is going to be the one that showed it's okay to be a fucking nerd and be universally accepted. 1977 George Lucas's Star Wars a New Hope. Fuck All yes. Right. yes. Yes. All right. Yes, bitch. It, uh made okay to be a fucking nerd mainstream and uh changed the the culture as a whole. Yeah. Um and I I just appreciate the fuck out of that. Uh, and then my number two is going to be what's com- com- commonly considered the grandfather of science fiction movies as a whole, 1927's Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Yep. Uh, during the silent film era, um, just, uh, that's ba- on the archives, the, the predecessor of C3PO, uh, with that and, and the, and Blade Runner's replicants, yep. Yep, yep. uh, the, the, the <clears throat> giant city skylines that is uh, now accepted as the futuristic, you know, God, views. I saw that when I was like eight. Yeah. It, it's, it, it, it holds up to this day. It yeah. still holds up. Have you all seen Metropolis? Everything. Um, uh, I haven't, new. but that's a really good pick. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, you, you guys get the opportunity to see it, uh, just out of, because everybody has grown from those seeds that it planted. Yeah. They went on, did things wonderfully and everything like that. But without these seeds right here, even HG Wells says it was a wonderfully wild, weird movie when, when he watched it, um, you know, one of the, uh, best sci-fi authors of all yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, he thought it was so weird and out there. And so like that, I'm like, if you can break this man's motherfucking brain, then good for you. Yep. Um, and then my last one is going from the uh, from the, the grandfather to what is now, uh, in my opinion, considered uh, overall one of the best sci-fi films of all time. Yes, 1968 Kubrick's 2001: The Space Odyssey. Yes. Um, yeah. Eh. Eh. All right. Uh, I understand a lot of people eh. don't feel that you know it, it's tried. engrossing enough. I really tried. Uh, but it's such a visually stunning piece of work. No, no. Thank traveling you. through everything. I agree. It is visually beautiful. It is just yes. so slow. It is. It, it, oh but my God. It, it, you're watching a slow moving piece of no. art. But that's what you're doing. Other, movies, other movies take a lot from it. They like do. Alien takes they a lot from it. Absolutely do. And other sci fi movies, Interstellar takes yes. a lot from 2001. Right. So, again, what did I say? As we, we watched it last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like rewatched it because he's like, no, no, it's been a while. And I will admit, there are times when I'm like, no, it's bullshit. And then I rewatch it. I'm like, eh, it's not so bad. Or I'll be like, oh, I don't remember this at all from yep. whatever. Life, whatever has changed my POV. We we tried I'm for afraid, 2001 Dave. Space Odyssey. <laughs> and I was just like, he's sitting there like so hopeful, keeps looking over. I'm like, it's still boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, but it's boring. <laughs> what I like about your list so much is that the sci-fi genre in movies would not exist without those movies. Exactly. exactly. That's why I, 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 I had my list locked in. I guess there was films I may enjoy, you know, just pure enjoyment more. But I have to pay the uh, the homage and the respect to the, these giants the backbones. The, that that built the entire industry. Yeah, the backbone of, yes. of the genre, and, which and, I, I totally yeah. respect. And totally I'm like, the, the, I have to I have to give them all the credit in the world. Uh, without um, 2001: Space Odyssey, we wouldn't have so many sci-fi films the way we uh, understand and appreciate them now. Without Metropolis. Yeah. Sci-fi as a genre as a whole probably wouldn't fucking exist. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, and I just, I have to give love and honor to them. Great fucking That's list. Great. Very nice. Dude. Can I take the temperature of the room as it pertains to Star Wars? Because I'm on the fence. I've heard it said that Star Wars is sci-fi. And I've also heard it say that it's not, that it's actually fantasy. It's sci-fi no! fantasy. I, see, it's I'm in agreement with you. And see, that's why I didn't, that's why I didn't put it on my list because I would have put Empire Strikes Back on my list. But the problem is, is that to me, it, it is sci-fi, but not, I feel it's Star Trek is more sci-fi, sci-fi than Star Wars. Yeah. Yes. 
If Lord of the Rings was set in fucking outer space, it'd be sci-fi fantasy. All right, but it's not set in outer space, so it's just fantasy. That would be amazing. Please make that the next installment. (laughs) All right, so let's go ahead and end it with Chase with his five. You got your top five finally? Yes, finally. All right, let's see what you got. Don't let him down, babe. That was a painful fucking whittling down there. So I'm going to start with number five. I have an ongoing love affair with this entire universe here, and that is Serenity. Mm-hmm. Yes. Firefly is Ooh, fucking amazing. amazing. Love Cap- that movie. Yes. Yeah, um, you talked about that on your top TV shows too. Oh fuck yeah. Um it was mentioned um Firefly. briefly, but uh, you know, anything that was Joss Whedon back in the day yeah. was just oh yeah killer. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember you got in a whole argument about uh about you know the thing about because he gets into like some really you know the shitty times right now. He's not even uh, I think he's blacklisted in Hollywood right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. so he, he was what? basically found turned into to a be shit abusive set. towards women on the cast. And yeah. so and it turned out that it was possibly his ex-wife that did all the writing. Which is explains why all the females were really powerful in Buffy, Serenity, etc. No yeah. shit, I didn't know that. I didn't hear that about his ex wife, but yeah, the, the shittiness that he had on yeah. set, I absolutely heard about that. Um, yeah. So yeah, Serenity, fucking fantastic. Mm-hmm. I am a leaf on the wind. Um, <laughs> number four is 1999, The Matrix. Okay, fucking love that mm-hmm. movie. It started like it really did change oh, like a whole genre was molded by it i think and just i don't know it's it's really a an icon hi (laughs) Um, it's it's a it's truly an icon these days uh my number three is going to be ex machina it was a fantastic um psych uh very psychological it was deep it was very analytical and poetic I fucking loved it. the The scenery, the the frame, the framing, and the the score for it were phenomenal. Yeah, um, it amazing, was a right? truly an experience more than a movie. Yeah, and my number two is gonna be a dear old favorite of mine. Fucking Tremors, man. Yes! Fucking yes! love Tremors. <laughs> yeah, see, I see that more as like a sci fi western when you think about it. Would you think that's a sci-fi it's western? So fun. It's a sci-fi B movie. I was gonna it say it's a it's a sci-fi monster movie. Yeah, but uh, I came to realize last night that my number one. You know the thing is, Trimmers two is actually a decent Dude, sequel. All of the Trimmers were awesome. Okay, no, they got yes. bad. What about no, the ass they're all great. The they are all great. The ass they are all are great. Fucking as awesome. much as I just like Tom Cruise, Kevin Bacon is right up there. Really? Fuck out of here. Even the ones going, you know, to Antarctica and the ones going to the fucking jungle <laughs> that are literally <laughs> shot in the Jason same Voorhees. set somehow. <laughs> all right. The Trimmers worms are like Jason Voorhees. They just haven't gone to space yet. I want to see that. Yes. I want to see that. What? They're going to be in the graboids on Mars. <laughs> but uh, I, I, cut, I came to realize last night that my number one is a little bit different from everybody's here. Treasure Planet. Really? Because oh, we're all adults. I fucking uh, love okay that, that movie. That is, a, that, I, that is sci-fi. It that is sci-fi. It is sci-fi. absolutely a sci-fi. Yes. It was a complete passion project of... Uh, oh, fuck, their names are, for, are evading me now, but... They fought through like four different contra- movie contracts to finally get a chance to make that movie, and they did a bang up job. And Disney just fucking killed it on the on the marketing. They yeah. deserve it's Treasure two- Island in space. Yeah, come on now, it's going to be your new light in space. Yeah, that's what and, it was. And it was one hundred percent Treasure Island in space, and that's that woke millions of furries. Yeah. It really did. <laughs> Captain Amelia done fucked some people up. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. And that lie. set the goals for a lot of people's relationships, too, <laughs> with Mr. Arrow and her both. Like, tiny little lady, big Brock man, list love. No, no. You guys I, have seen Treasure Planet, right? Doctor, Doctor no. Doppler. No, because they're adults. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Again. I watch a lot of cartoons. No, hey, no, man. so do I. So, so do I. But... There's a no, lot. There's Treasure a lot Planet of judgment. Is good. She's it turning is good. 24. I absolutely. Uh, there's a lot of judgment here. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. There's no judgment. I literally showed that at the daycare while I was watching kids and let them watch it while I was the teacher. So when I say you're a child, there's a reason. <laughs> there's no, I love this I shit up for the planet. It's a great movie, but to me, it just it didn't even register because I saw it as a kid movie. Chase. That was a great fucking list. I wasn't expecting yeah. Treasure Planet. I'm Fuck not going to yeah, lie. Fuck yeah, dude. Treasure Planet is baller. I, I seriously <laughs> thought, Fifth, I thought Fifth Element was going to be on your list. Uh, it was content. for a little bit. 
it took like it I, was very I told close you, to it being was hard. Very, yeah. very close. Really? It, yeah, it was very, on mine for a while, but it. I also had this? like 30 of them on here at the beginning of this yes. fucking episode. So yeah. one of the big qualifiers for me was have I watched it a hundred times? Yeah. 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 Kind of why my list was full of a million shitty sci fi movies. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's no, no, the fucking you know $4 what, Walmart bin. Mean. Yes. <laughs> love what you love, Crystal. There is no, yeah. there's no film shaming. And would I be willing to watch it a hundred more times? Ooh, yeah. was awesome. Yeah. That, that's aliens replay, for me. Replay I've is seen aliens so many times. Mm -hmm. I, I basically like memorized that movie. I love it so much. So I got to admit, this was really, really fun. I'm so glad that I you got to join us. X. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I do love you some Uber Jason. I do love you. Well, why don't you guys go ahead and plug your show one more time? All right. We're Chris and L from Spoil My Movie. You can find us across social media at Spoil My Movie. We're on like every podcast platform. So if you just search Spoil My Movie, you'll find us and you'll find us spoiling your movie. And also, you got to make uh, make sure to check them out because they're also on the Deluxe Edition Network that we're all a part of, the Great Network. And actually, mm -hmm. we have we have two shows that are a part our podcast of the month. We got World True Crime, and what is the other one? Spoil my movie. There you go. <laughs> so that's Thanks great. So much for having us, guys. Yeah, Thank congratulations you. for being podcast of the month. By the way, yes, that's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Thank you guys were growing as much. Glad the whole to network is growing as much as it is. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, network no, is no. growing. I can't believe nice I'm so well, upset that oh, you hate Tom Cruise. Sorry, that was his alarm. Oh. <laughs> My alarm was here saying, do it or I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky because if it was... I mean, it's technically still the show. Uh, oh. You know what? How are we going to do that? Yeah, no, 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 no. This is what we're going to do. You made Snow this do it when she called this in. This is what we're going to do. Yeah, but Because we haven't, had, a we, we haven't had a punishment right. shot in the show. So since that went off... Since it's on my laptop, I will spin the wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, good. They get to see good wheel fuckery. Get to see the wheel fuckery. Way, way to be you a stand up. I you will can't do it. fuck with tradition. I was just about to say, man, you don't, he don't almost fuck with tradition. tradition. You don't fuck with tradition. Ron going through one <laughs> show with oh, no yeah, fuck ups. Yeah, what? Grab beer. I, yeah, go grab another beer. I was literally just about <laughs> to say, Silver right. Ron, huh? Here we go. What am I going to do? Self destruct. Self destruct. No, fuck you. Crystal picks. Woo! Yay! Her Fuck. favorite. Last she, time she made something called the birth plug. <laughs> it was really gross. Oh, she comes up with some really interesting really combinations. <laughs> I'm She's pretty an sure adorable, it's on demented little thing. That's what she is. Well, She's you're so excited. This <laughs> She's giggling with just a bit. Last time it was something with like Malort and Goldschlager or something. Oh, that was on ours. Yeah, that was on what, ours. Was that okay. that uh, one was on ours. No, no, no. The do you remember what? No, Goop did it. Goop did uh, Malort and uh, oh, Goldschlager. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, Malort, man, you guys have ever had Malort before? No, fortunately. According oh. <laughs> you, you need to get it. You need to get it. According to no, Snow, it, it tastes, it tastes like a oh, no. According to Snow, she says it tastes like a dead skunk's ass. <laughs> Oh. Their own one of their own taglines is tastes like the day your daddy left you. <laughs> oh, that's wow. bitter. Yes. Yeah. That's a bitter taste. Yes. Here, uh, Chase, grab me the bottle. I'll show them the uh, bottle of Malort, so they can go ahead and uh, buy a Jeff bottle. And you should Malort. try it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is it right here. This is uh, Jepson's Malort. You know, this is the drink of our needs show. Taste buds. Here. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I'll join you in a Malort shot. Thank you for showing me. Now I know what to shot. stay away from. Right. Oh, <laughs> I guess you're pouring the shots. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we, we never we didn't have a punishment shot throughout this whole show, so that gave a good excuse, so I guess no, I'll Chase go ahead and do it. No, was literally like, what just is about to happen? My new tagline, because <laughs> I know if you've seen our intros in our show, we all have there. taglines at the beginning of our show, and I got to change mine because they voted for it. It's going to be coming on some future shows where I'm saying, punish me. You know, in a funny <laughs> voice. Oh, the, the but it gets better. A minute voice. Tell what I'm what I'm yelling in the background as you're doing this. Whore. No, it's you did it wrong. <laughs> Whores. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, Are you gonna pay my my sound bite? This is her sound bite. Whores. <laughs> I was so clean. All right, Crystal. So what am I drinking? Oh my god, that what looks is horrid. It? What is it? Ooh, mm, yummy. That looks like pus. <clears throat> It's like a cement mixer. What it, well, first of all, what is it? What is that it? is oh. Jaeger Absinthe Blackberry Baileys. Mm. Oh, That's a couple of fuck you. 
Ghost. Sorry. Whoa. Science experiment. <laughs> All right, let's see. You can call that one Toe Jam. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's actually not bad. <laughs> cool. What the fuck? It tastes like pure licorice. It's good. Oh, you know why? <laughs> yeah. The absinthe kills it, and he loves licorice. Yeah. So I was messing future, around weird shit for future. Well, I will guys, admit the Goot reaction to that was priceless. Oh yeah, it was. That was <laughs> mm, visceral. Very good. Very well, strong. spoil your movie reviews. Thank you for joining us for this show. This was so much fun. I am so glad you got to join us for this. This was this was great. You guys had fun with it. I mean, oh, yeah. amazing. It, we all have to admit this was a hard one to do. This seriously. was tough. This was a hard that one. That was tough. Yeah. Very difficult. I have and, at least but, five of my movies scratched fun. through. Yes. <laughs> and Thank much you respect. So much. And much respect for ET. I'm so glad you put that on your list. Oh That's, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Great Thanks fucking so much. pick. I enjoyed everybody's lists. Oh, yeah. us too. Definitely. All right, guys. I guess we'll go ahead and let you guys go. And uh, like I said, thank you for joining us. And check them out on the Deluxe Edition Network. They're on all the platforms out there. Spoiler Movie Reviews, Podcast of the Month. Amazing. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. So a good one. It was a blast. Thanks, all right. Hey guys, thank you for listening to our episode and our season three of The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, CastBox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album artwork. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to DeluxeEditionNetwork.com. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.